Senator Kirsten Gillibrand uh, is reportedly testing the waters to see if she will have enough sport, support if she launches a bid for president in 2020. Uh, so uh, this is good news because she's a progressive. Um, at least she's a self-professed progressive. Uh, you know, I, I know in 2016 she did support Hillary Clinton for president, who was not a progressive. And she, Hillary Clinton, she did not support but, uh, Gillibrand's uh, her bill, her uh, that fam that paid family leave act. And she get behind, you know, uh, Bernie and the crew, and you know, presenting the Medicare. That's for correct. All. Yeah, she did get behind. She she was a, a co sponsor. Co sponsor of Bernie's with Medicare Corey Booker. for all bill. Yeah, no doubt. She was on the stage. She was on the stage. She was on the stage. Uh, she also, uh, t you know, kind of took this pledge not to take any corporate funding. Uh, you know, as it relates to her uh, re-election bid, uh, so she didn't take any corporate PAC money or anything like that. So again, she's she's a um, she's a progressive. Um, even though when she was a, a member of the House, she was a conservative Democrat, and she was uh, actually tied to the Blue Dog Coalition. Blue Dogs, Blue Dogs. Uh, but still, she she's come a long way. The 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 senator from New York. She's come a long way. So she is. She is a progressive. She is a progressive. Whose advice would she seek? Or I, I would assume that she would go right directly to the people. I don't know in what format, okay. what form, right, right, or anything right, right. like that, but it would seem to me that she would try to address the people, try to see what her numbers were with the people, and that would give her some information on if she, a run she's viable, in 2020... Whether she's yeah, viable or not. ...is right. good, you know, is, okay. is, is, is sound strategy or not. Right, right, right. That's not what she did. That's not what she did. At, at least reportedly, that's not what she did. At least reportedly, that's not what she did. Reportedly, she talked to some Wall Street cats. Oh, the some, financial the sector. The financial sector. She, she talked to these type of people to gauge interest in a possible presidential run in 2020. What? 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 Uh, you know that, 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 uh, that meme? With the, the person with the the that goes like this, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's what it, I'm feeling right now. It doesn't make because again, I, just a couple minutes ago, I noted that she's not taking any corporate PAC money. So, so why would she talk to Wall Street cat? Like even money aside, like to me that doesn't make sense like mm -hmm. if you're trying to mm -hmm. gauge whether you're a viable candidate or not i think you know your answer is going to come from regular people right no apparently it's wall street firms so what do you think her her main goal is then if she's just kind of looking towards the financial sector for approval is she just looking for approval or is she what's she looking for um, she's looking for campaign backing Looking for campaign backing, right? Well, if she's looking for a campaign backing, then at some point she would have to take some money. She, at some point she would have to take some money. Not so, grassroots money. Not grassroots money. Because that's not grassroots. Last that's time not I grassroots. Not, so it doesn't matter whether she's taking money through a pack if yeah. she's taking like similar money. Yeah. The money that has the same dirt on it. <laughs> like, does it matter if it comes through a pack or not? Well, more money can be delivered to the pack. Yeah. I, I don't know. Is she going to switch her strategy up when it comes to 2020? If she actually does run, will she switch her stance up to say, well, hey, that was for my Senate campaign, for my presidential campaign. I am going to take a little bit of that, you know, that, that good money from Wall Street. I'm, I'm going to take a little bit, of, just a little bit, but I'm still progressive. No, 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 no. Not am I, not just I'm still progressive. I'm going to... <laughs> still hold the financial sector to a high standard. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm going to be tough on them. What's important are the facts of my record. Co-sponsor of the financial transaction tax, supporting reinstating the glass, a new Glass-Steagall Act, voted against the bank bailout twice. So that's what's important. And really, when, when I see that and when I hear the words from her spokesman, too, it kind of rubs me like it's another. True. Well, no, it rubs me like another candidate did. What, 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 wait, 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 wait. What candidate are you referring to? It it feels like this is like 2015, 2016, and it feels like she's Hillary Clinton. Because if you can remember, uh, I know it was a long time ago. Just try to try to retrace 
you know, all the steps, try to go back to the debates that she had, notably with Bernie Oh, Sanders. I already know where you're going with this. And, Are you uh, talking about the public and private positions? Well, I'm talking about... <laughs> see how many, my head wasn't there. But I'm remembering her taking a pretty firm, audible stance on money and politics and how she said that, like, uh, Citizen United and money and politics, all of this led to corruption. And I remember back in 2016 saying that, okay, 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 okay. I got you. I got you, Hillary. I got you, okay? So money and politics, big money and politics is bad. Citizens United, bad. It leads to corruption. It's, it's, it's real bad, and we have to do something about it. So I remember my question back then was, if money in politics is bad and it leads to corruption, who is being corrupted? Uh, well, I think you're being completely unfair because I think like Hillary Clinton, Hillary Rodham Clinton, is a special case because that obviously doesn't apply to her. Oh. So before you go there, you oh. have to understand that this standard that she set up doesn't didn't apply to her. It doesn't, oh. Like she's not corrupt by any of that. She, she is not, not corrupted by any of that. She has Some other know, people. It's other people who are corrupted by that. She can maintain her integrity um, while taking money from those same interests. William. Oh, my bad. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Okay. All right. So I'm all on Gillibrand train then. All right. All over. No. 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 See, my problem with Gillibrand is that I, I just don't trust her. Uh, again, noting her background when she was in the House, being a conservative Democrat, it just seems, and when she became this progressive member of Congress, it seems to correlate with her run for the Senate. And now she's this progressive. So I just don't trust her. Oh, so now that she could possibly be throwing her hat into the presidential race, you see her playing the same game same all the game, time. Same game. I don't, I don't trust her. And I again, again, fake. but what's the... What's, why the need to throw that tweet out there? Oh. It, it just seems like a, like a pathetic attempt at defending yourself. Yep. Like it's almost like, hey, I'm gonna do as little as I can so I can pay these dudes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to give the impression that I'm, you know, I'm with y'all. I'm with y'all. <laughs> but on the back end, yeah, I'm really with them.